After a storm passes, scammers often swoop in to try and take advantage of people who either need help or want to help. Atlanta News first investigative reporter Anastasia Olmos is here now. And Anastasia, what are some of the things that people can do to avoid being taken advantage of? Tracy and Blair, I've got two main points that people can keep in mind here when uh, they are possibly being taken advantage of in their neighborhood with these people uh, walking around trying to convince them that their home is damaged and that they need to hire them right away to fix it or even receiving random messages asking for donations to go to help storm victims. Now, if you need help or want to help others, research any businesses or charities on the Better Business Bureau website or give.org. Be wary of newly created companies and organizations. You want to know that they have a very track record of doing what they say they're doing. Now, be cautious of links in text messages or emails. These may take you to a lookalike website where they'll ask for personal financial information either as a donation or a payment. Now, one safe way to donate is through our partnership with the Salvation Army. We have this QR code here, or you can go to HaleenHelp.org. All of the money you donate will go toward disaster relief efforts. Guys. Anastasia, thanks so much.